Recently, someone at the school where I work needed a quick and easy way to share a web address with students. It was a really long URL, and the person was concerned that the students would mistype it, and they probably would. And so I suggested to her using a URL shortener, and she didn't have any idea what that was, and I talked to a few other people around the school, and they didn't know what that was either. So. Uh, I thought I would do a quick video tutorial on how to use a URL shortener and then how to unshorten a shortened URL if you need to. Okay, this is the student resource page on the school district website. Now say you have 25 to 30 students in a computer lab and you want them to go to this site. This is the web address for this particular page. Now, can you imagine writing that up on a whiteboard and telling students to type this into the to their web browser? Three quarters of them are going to make some sort of mistake. They're going to get a number wrong, a letter wrong somewhere, miss a period, something. And you're going to be spending a quarter of your class period going around trying to get everyone on the right page. Well, instead of doing that, you can take this URL and shorten it with a URL shortener. Um, now a Google search will show that there are several of these out there and they all do basically the same thing. The one that I'm going to show you is is.gd. Uh, this particular one um, strikes a pretty good balance between simplicity and function and this is the one that I like to use. So what we're going to do is copy this URL and we'll paste it into the field here and tell it to shorten it. and we're given a much shorter, much more manageable URL. And it would be much easier to write this on the whiteboard and students are gonna make far fewer mistakes with this URL than they would that, that really long, unwieldy one. Another neat thing that you can do here is tell it to generate a QR code. Now you can project this QR code uh, up on a screen and students can can, they don't even have to get up, they can sit where they are and with a smartphone or tablet scan that QR code and it'll take them directly to the website that you want them to go to. Now of course that's not going to work for a desktop but for uh, mobile devices it will work great. Um, one thing to keep in mind and this is true of is.gd, I'm not sure if it's true of, of all the other URL shorteners but, um, but this URL is case sensitive so if you were to type this into your web browser but you typed a lowercase n instead of a capital n here it's not going to take you to the web page that you want to go to but there is a, a way to fix that what we'll do is we'll tell it let's plug this url back in here again and tell it to generate a lowercase url and and it does so and you can tell your students okay here's here's your web address it's all in lowercase go and it'll work great another option is to do a lowercase pronounceable URL and what that's going to do is is the um, the part after the slash the six characters after the slash it's going to be somewhat pronounceable um, now when they say pronounceable it's, it's relatively speaking um, but it, it, it helps a little bit. We'll see what this will do for us. Working on Wi-Fi here, so it's a little pokey. Okay, and so we have, um, this is somewhat pronounceable, I guess. You could tell your students go to is.gd slash ubegam, and it'll take them there. Um, now another function that it has is you can do a custom URL. You can type in whatever characters that you want after the is.gd slash and as long as it's not taken already you can use it. Um, let's see, this is Harris County, Georgia student webpage so um, let's call this um, student can't put a slash or space in there. Harris K 
And as long as it's not taken, we can use this. Now I'm going to click Log Statistics for this link. And you have this option on with any of the others too if you're doing uh, the regular shortened URL, the lowercase, the pronounceable, whatever, you can log statistics. I'm going to do that here and in a minute I'll show you what that'll do for us. Okay, and apparently we can use that, so we could type this uh, custom URL that we created into our web browser and it'll take us to the page that we want to go to. Now to the statistics that it will log, um, it'll show you the number of click-throughs that you get with the shortened URL. Um, so you can see how effective it is and the way you get to those statistics is it's just that same shortened URL with a hyphen on the end. So I'm going to click that and then tell it I want to see the statistics for this URL and it'll show the number of hits that it has given, given over a period of time. Now we just we just created this particular URL so there's really not much to see here but over the course of time if you wanted to see the number of hits that you get in a week or a month or or whatever period of time it, it, it'll show you that um, and it'll also show you by types of browser uh, platform you know the operate operating system day of the week hour of the day all sorts of things that uh, that you can see there so that's how you shorten a URL now what if you want to unshorten a shortened URL? How would you do that? Or why would you even want to do that? Well say somebody gives you, um, remember that, that URL that we generated, the is.gd slash ubigam? What if somebody gave you that URL and wanted you to go to it? You don't have any idea where it's going to take you. It could be some really objectionable website. It could be a violent website. It could be pornography. You don't have any idea where it's going to take you. And you really want to be able to see where a URL is going to take you before you go there. So this is where untiny me comes in. And we just type in the URL that we want to um, view. Let's put in that is.gd slash ubigam and tell it to extract it and it'll show you exactly where that URL is going to take you and you can decide whether or not that's a website that you want to visit and this link here is clickable so you don't even have to copy and paste it you can just click it and it'll go right where you want to go and so that's how you shorten a URL and how you unshorten a shortened URL